Alright, it's Hanukkah time right now. It's Christmas Eve. I know that I've been delaying these videos and stuff, but I'm going to make up for three more videos right now. Well, I did say that I would review 12 Christmas movies before Christmas, so let me continue off with the last three movies I'm about, <coughs> I'm about to review. Well, I don't worry about the TV over there. Just, I'm about to watch something on my Xbox, like the uh, the Earthworm Jim cartoon. On so, oh, and I just got this hat today for Christmas from uh, my uh, my sister's boyfriend's mother, uh, which is really neat. I really love it's brand it's brand new uh, hat with Deadpool on stuff. So, anyway, since it's uh, Hanukkah time, I did say I was gonna review a Hanukkah movie. Oh yeah, and so here's what I want to do. Oh, uh, I'm gonna review one Hanukkah movie right now. And review the other two Christmas movies. And on the eighth day, I'll review one more Hanukkah movie. So, with that said, let's talk about a, one of the more famous Hanukkah movies that a lot of people watch. Right, and it is a DreamWorks animated film. And it's their first 2D animated film. As long as, as much as it's their second animated film since Ants. The Prince of Egypt. Now, now, while the film did very well at the box office. And it definitely got and was a hit with critics and audiences. People don't really pay attention to it too much. And I saw this a while ago on Netflix. And and, and I remember this being really... I do actually think this movie was actually really great. But in my opinion, if I did have to pick the uh, the best uh, movie from... Uh, well, the best 2D animated film from DreamWorks. As, as, as well as my favorite animated film from DreamWorks Animation. I personally prefer uh, The Road to El Dorado. <coughs> Oh yeah, I said that. I love, love The World to El Dorado. Oh, not only is it my favorite DreamWorks animated film, I think it's one of my favorite films, period. So, uh, The Prince of Egypt, it's a story about the pharaoh that he wants to, to kill the newborn babies. So, one of the family members, or sends uh, of, um, of a baby, who was supposed to be Moses, was, so basically, they go to the, he, well, was sent to the queen Point up the pharaoh, oh, and she calls him Moses. Also, later on, he grows up into an adult version of himself, played by, voiced by Val Kilmer, or right, and his brother Ray Fiennes. No, sorry, right, and his brother Ramesses, played by Ray Fiennes, aka Lord Voldemort from the Harry Potter series and Alfred from the Lego Batman movie. Um, well, what do you call it? Oh, right, so basically, one day, oh yeah, Moses finds that right, accidentally kills a, oh, a. a and one of the one of the guards because he was torturing a slave, if it's up. Uh, so one day, accidentally killing him, um, he he goes into exile, uh, for a very long time. Uh, the love interest from the beginning of the film, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, basically, or well, doesn't doesn't like him at first when he goes into exile and stuff. But then actually does grow to love him. Then one day, and then years later, he goes back. Well, he gets um. Um, a talk from God, who's also voiced by Val Kilmer, tell him, telling him that he has to be the he is the sender of the Jews to set them free. Right, so he goes back to um, <clears throat> so he goes back to uh to eat to us uh, his homeland, on uh, to tell Ramesses that he can no longer be his brother, or that they're going to be enemies. <coughs> right, so basically, oh yeah, we already know what happens in the story, and it is told very beautifully. The uh the animation, yeah of course from DreamWorks Animation they made some one of the best looking two D animated films ever, or oh, and this if and this film was definitely gorgeous to look at. But I honestly think the the Hotel Dorado had like probably like the best animation, on and stuff at least for my personal taste. But this film definitely is really gorgeous to look at. What a lot of the anima the animation was done by James Baxter who did Beauty and the Beast and he actually did a scene with that for Steven Universe where. Steven is like hugging his self, his pink self, and then on um, they like dancing on to do their dance fusion, and then the um and then the um the white diamond on opens her eyes and stuff. That animation was done by him, oh, which is really neat. So um, there are other characters in the movie that I forgot to mention, like his si like Moses's sister, voiced by Sandra Bullock, like his brother, played by Jeff Goldblum, and his father, voiced by Patrick Stewart, and there are the two high priests, played by Steve Martin and Martin Short. Uh, which, of course, we know Steve Martin and Martin Short. They're a good comedic duo, or in terms of comedy. Oh, yeah, they're the side villains of the film. So, oh, um, the relationship between when Moses and when, um, 
like and Ramesses is fantastic and they seem and like they're all like they're actually a part of a family. Like they don't want to hurt one another or something, but one has their own decision and the other one has a, has their own decision as well. Well, the songs are really good, but honestly, and the music done by Hans Zimmer or and on the lyricist was done by Stephen Schwartz, who did a Pocahontas and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, and he definitely does do a good job of the songs in this movie as well. Oh, and like I said, Hans Zimmer, I really can do can really do no wrong. He's so good at making my music. Like who, of course, we know him. Who did the Road to El Dorado and the other uh, other DreamWorks movies, and of course, his most famous one, The Lion King, and the Empire, the first four Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So, um, uh, the voice acting itself is really good as well. Basically, this movie is a remake, like of, of the Ten Commandments, which are both. There are two movies done by C Cecil B. Deville, or Deville, whatever his whatever his name is. Well, it's one of them was released in the twenties, and then years later, in nineteen fifty six or fifty seven, what uh, the same director made an actual epic one. Or like a Lawrence and Arabia kind of film. Oh man, uh, and that film, um, uh, Ramesses is, is straight up evil. Oh, but in the but in this film, Ramesses is like a character you do feel related. I feel related. I will like feel relatable. All that stuff. Moses is really great, and as well, and his voice is really great as well. Well, there is some really dark moments in the movie. I mean, I guess kids can watch it, but they could probably turn out by some of, like, the bloody stuff of and and all the chaos that's going on in this movie. Like, but if you, are, if you are a Jewish person or are a big fan of animation, I definitely highly suggest you check this one out. Especially if you're looking for a film to, sell, to watch for to, like, celebrate Hanukkah. But, so... Oh, uh, overall, I definitely think it is a great... I definitely think Prince of Egypt is a fantastic movie. Wait, and if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you check it out. It's really fantastic, and it is pretty underrated. Wait, so, if you have, but if you have seen the movie, what did you think? Well, just comment, well, just comment below, click like in this video, follow, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and share the video, and I'm the Bostonian Critic, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.